at you from Diamond Bee Farm with another video. Today, we're going to be planting garlic. We get our garlic at the local Amish um, community produce stand. It is an heirloom garlic and it is actually called Amish garlic. Um, you, can, you can grow garlic just about anywhere in anything. Um, even if you have a pot that you want to plant a couple in, um, we're going to do that as well. What I have found is we have, Kevin found an old um, galvanized feed trough. He has drilled some holes in it for my drainage and he has kind of put it up on legs um, so that I, so it can get some garlic like well drained soil and you want to get it out before your 30 days before your first frost. I like to my good rule of thumb is I kind of want to get mine out before October 1st. So, I have my garlic bulbs here and I need to finish filling up my, my container and then we'll get to planting garlic. Garlic likes real acidy soil. Um, so, what I have is I have a little bit of bag of manure left. I'm going to put it in here. I am going to put me a couple of handfuls of some bone meal in here. Bone meal, I think, is just good for any plant and any soil. My mom used to always swear by it. We had bone meal. You could smell it for days because, you know, it does kind of stink a little bit. So I'm putting me a couple of hands in that. And yes, these are my planting dogs. have 12 12 12 it's fertilizer that we always use we use that in all of our all of my container plants it's just a good all-purpose fertilizer and really I thought I had a I'm just gonna pitch me some handfuls of it in here also get this from our um, local Amish greenhouses. It's just a pro mix. It's just a general, general purpose soil. I'm going to finish filling it up. After I go get me something to open it with. I'll be right back. <laughs> you know, whenever you can't find your garden scissors, you go look in your husband's tools. Um, I got me a, just a screw. <laughs> So, um, this seems to be working pretty good. Yay! You know, that's something I love, my container gardens. Um, I'm going to put this over here because I don't want it to give me any tire. Yeah, or anything. Um, you can grow just about anything in a container. So, you don't have to have a big space or you don't have to have this, something this big. And you know, you know, here at Diamond Bee Farm, our goal is for you to at least, even if it's one side dish, one, one thing of peppers or one thing of cucumbers um, that you've grown, you've grown it just to be at your table. But we like garlic, so we mean, you know, this this Halloween, no vampires are going to come near us because we like lots of garlic. Okay, I'm going to kind of get that spread in, and I also had some other soil. Kind of pack it down as you go. all 
filled up. I'm going to take me another handful of my fertilizer and I'm going to give it a good fertilizer and on top. So now then I have fertilizer on top and on bottom. Well, yeah, for the roots. Trying to give that a good zhuzh around. And now then, I think it's time to open the garlic up. That's always tricky for me because I'm never good at it. <clears throat> so you take your first clove and then you just start peeling. And you want good, nice, healthy cloves because good, nice, healthy cloves uh, produce good, nice, healthy cloves. This is a hard neck garlic, um, and it grows really good in our region, which is 7A, I think, pretty sure. So, you just start until you get to the cloves, stripping, them, stripping the loose leaves away. And you'll see when you're finally getting to the garlic cloves, kind of what it looks like. See, there you go. And you just kind of keep going. You don't want to forcefully break it off, but you want them to kind of come out, I don't want to say on their own, because they won't come out on their own, but with a lot of force. Of course, naturally, I'd have to pick a stubborn one. Because just like this is the stem and this, it, this was the root, this is how you're going to plant it. like so. The pointy end goes up and that end goes down. So I'm going to finish breaking my garlic out, break, breaking my garlic apart and then we'll get to planting it. Now that I have all the garlic is broken apart and it doesn't have to be clean, clean, but I mean you're going to want, um, you know, the majority of it kind of cleaned off. You're not going to want it like like it just come off but anyway you're going to plant it pointy side up and this side down you're going to plant it at least four inches apart which i mean my rule of thumb is like a ham ham handprint apart and you're just going to push it in the soil and cover it up and you're going to want your garlic cloves to be the good thick ones. Now, you know, I have no system because, um, because that's just the way I roll, but just going to, I'm going to get the, all these planted and I don't know, I may have three or four rows here, but the good thick ones, you're going to want to you know, you're going to want to keep. Um, I have saved some of the, the baby ones. Normally they say to discard the, the smaller ones, but I've got me a pot ready and I think I'm going to try it. Can't hurt to try to see if the little ones will come up. You know, you're, you don't have a good garden unless you've got good garden dogs to help you. Help, hinder, it's the same thing. Whoops, nearly planted that one upside down.
And what I've done is, between this row and this row, I've just kind of laid my hand. Now I've got all my garlic cloves in my way. know about your family but mine we go through a bunch of garlic they like that one we'll try it in there no buddy that's a big old thick one we'll definitely get him in there Well, I think I have about got this bed filled up. Move all my others, because I do have more containers I can put it in, because you plant it now in order to harvest it around April. I have our experiment bucket here with the little bitty cloves of garlic. What I put was just a um, handful of bone meal and a handful of fertilizer. I'm going to mix it up. And yes, this is where we put all of our, um, what we, our, what we got off of the um, garlic. A little bit of compost there. I've got somewhere else to put those. Put a little bit more dirt in here. Just keep moving them from pot to pot. I guess that's okay. <laughs> Fill that up real nice. And I think I'm just going to, I'm just not even going to, I'm just going to eyeball these. I plant them in, in and around. And you know, my mom always would say that um, your surprise buckets always do the best. <laughs> so now then that I have them all planted, I'm going to give them a good water in. And the dogs running. <laughs> yeah, they're like, no thank you. I mean, a good generous water for both of them. I'm glad I didn't get that phone. Oh my then, since they do like acidy soil, oh, are you ready? Oh, sorry. 
sorry. <laughs> Since they do like acidy soil, I just have some pine um, shavings. This is what we use in our brooder and stuff like that. And you can get it at any of your local supply, um, farm supply stores. I am going to give them a good um, blanket. Because what this will do is they'll go through that dormant period and then, I mean, you want them to start kind of to get, to get established in the dirt that they're in and then get established so that they can make it over the winter. This will also help them keep some of their like water capacity too. Yes, it it'll, will. It'll keep, it will let them hold water. And if you don't have pine shavings, I mean, you can use grass clippings, you can use leaves, you can use anything to kind of keep your, um, to kind of give it a good blanket. Another handful for this one. Maybe two handfuls. <laughs> this will be something really cute for y'all to see. So, our baby guineas have just now started to do their little kerchuck. And they come and check us out every now and then, see what we're up to. There's five. I don't know where the other one is, but he's, he's there. Hopefully she, hopefully she's there, but those are our babies. Alright, now then, okay. back to the main show. <laughs> main show. Now then, what I also do is, after I get the pine shavings down, I kind of give them a little water, just because they can be dusty. Dusty and if the wind got up, you know, you kind of want them, I, I like to wet hours. Enjoy the nice music of our baby guineas. I love the music. I love the guineas. They're the best watched dogs you can ever have. Yeah, they're not doing too much. Okay, so now we have garlic planted. Can't wait till summer. Y'all know I'm a summer type girl because I love my garden and I love my container gardens. I just love to grow stuff. But it's almost time to get some of this other stuff in the greenhouse. Um, hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them. Uh, if you have friends, share our YouTube page with them. Have them subscribe. Um, it helps us help you. Let us know what else you would like to see. Don't forget our other platforms. There's TikTok, because I love me some TikTok. There's Instagram. There's Facebook. Um, there's all kinds of, there's our, hey, got some, even got some recipes on our website. Our website address is 
at Diamond Bee Farm 1994. You're going to want to go check those out. And I'm trying to get Haley into um, putting some of her succulents for sale on there because she's really good at that. Um, so check back. We'll be checking back in the spring and I'll be showing you um, how our garlic's coming along. And don't we can't forget, we're fixing to kind of get ready to um, put our container gardens to rest for the winter. You're not going to want you're going to want to see that video. Hope you like it and hope you have a good day.